Today we are going to try manipulating this image to a silhouette effect with the free Snapseed app. There are a few ways to mask out the main subjects here to create a silhouette effect. To make the masking easier, first I am going to increase the saturation and brightness to the maximum in Tune Image menu. Next, with the black and white filter, I am going to try making the main subject dark. To do that, I am going to choose blue color in the color options, which makes the blues in the image the brightest and the opposite yellows the darkest, which is the main intention here. Now we can go into the main masking work. With curves, I am going to drag the lower point towards top to turn the image completely white. Next going to the masking screen, tap on the stacks icon, view edits, curves and brush. Here with the effect hidden and the brush value set at 100, we are going to basically paint white around the main subject. As we turn the surroundings very bright, the masking work should be easier. Here minutely brushing around the edges. This will certainly take a lot of time, just need to be precise around the edges. Other areas we can zoom out and paint which should be easier. Here I will retain the ground, also the basketball pole. Applying this. Now to make the main parts darker, I'm gonna use curves and drag the RGB curve towards right until all the grey parts become completely black. You can notice the black spots from the earlier bit of shabby masking work. We can remove those by again going to curves, turning the image to white. In the masking screen, brushing over those parts to remove them. There are still some light grey spots. Using curves, I am going to increase the brightness in the highlights to turn these spots to white.
Now to turn those white spots on the main subject to black, I am going to turn the image to black with the curves tool by dragging the top right point to the bottom. With masking, brushing on these spots to make them black. I'm going to leave basketball hoop as it is for a unique effect. Next I'm going to add the background using double exposure tool. Adding the image of the sun here. Changing the blend mode to subtract which works best here. I'm going to enlarge it to make the background completely have this orangish unique color. Missed a step earlier going back to the layer where we turn the image completely white. Masking on the ball to remove it. Now again adding the earlier sun image using double exposure tool. This time zooming out completely to get the sun almost exactly in the position of the ball. Increasing the opacity to 100. Going to the masking screen. Tapping on the part of the sun to reveal it. To get some ambient light around the sun, lifting the blacks using curves to create some haze. With masking, applying it around the sun. One more step remains here. The lower part should be darker using curves again this time to make the image dark. Applying the effect on the lower parts using masking. The final result is here. Thanks for watching.